just want to say thank you for the opportunity to come up here and share a safety moment. By a show of hands, by a show of hands, how many in here know what a 360 walk around is? Not everybody. I, sh I chose to talk about a 360 walk around. I remember like two years ago, a young man sat in front of me uh, in, uh, in Kermit, Texas, doing new higher safety orientation. Uh, his best friend, uh, unfortunately, got with, stepped outside his front door, got in his company vehicle, put it in reverse, and he ran over his two and a half year old son. To this very day, these tragedies, this trauma are still happening. That can be prevented if we choose to do what's required and what we're trained to do, which is a 360 walker. Okay. And there's a point, there's a point that I want to make when it comes to 360 walk around, uh, any kind of training that we know, uh, let's say the proper lifting techniques, uh, the right, you know, uh, the right glove for the job, safety glasses, all this training that we know, that we know, that we practice year after year after year. My question to you, when you clock out the safety stop, or are you taking it to your immediate family and friends? And I'm going somewhere with this because of the fact about a week and a half ago, and I shared this uh, this past Monday morning our HSE call, my daughter called me, and there's a lot of contributing factors here. My daughter called me, number one, she was cooking dinner. Number two, had a granddaughter that was at volleyball practice. Number three, my other granddaughter was doing homework. Number four, my grandson was playing down the street at, at the neighbor's. So you got these four things going on in her life. She's pressured up with the fifth thing of her ex-husband causing her problems. So <laughs> she gets a phone call from my granddaughter and says, I'm ready to get picked up. So she's got dinner on the stove, the other granddaughter asking help for homework, the grandson down the street, the ex-husband nagging. So she goes, and she's in a hurry now, and she sits in the car. And she called me, she goes, hey, Dad, thank you. And I said, for what? Well, I know you, you're a safety man, and I'm proud of you, but you're always talking about safety, and you always tell me, don't get in a hurry. And I, and I was going through all of this, and I sat in the car, a little upset with everything that's going on, but I remember you telling me, don't get in a hurry. Stop Take a deep breath and regain yourself. Dad, I did that because I thought about what could happen. So I got out and I did the 360 walk around and there was Hot Wheels, there was a ball, there was toys underneath the car. And, and I removed all that because I don't know Seth, he was down at the street, down the neighbor's street. What if he would have seen me backing up and he would have ran to me. Those are something that could have happened that didn't happen because of the fact we take the safety that we know and we push it to our family and friends. It's important. Just because we clock out, safety does not stop. So my point is all the skills and training that we each have in this room, don't minimize it. Share it with others. Believe me, it works, and you will save a life. Thank you for letting me share.